Today, dry ice, which is solid carbon dioxide, okay? And it's at a temperature of minus 78.5 degrees Celsius. So water that's frozen, ice, is hot compared to this because water ice is zero degrees Celsius. Okay, that's hot compared to this. Now what I have here is some water that is additionally hot to produce a nice foggy effect here. Okay, so dry ice is carbon dioxide. So what's this? Air. Air? What other guesses? Water. Water. Water is right. This is water vapor that has condensed. Okay, because this hot water is producing a lot of water vapor above its surface. When I put the dry ice into it, it cools it off. And the dry ice bubbles that are coming to the top here are full of very cold carbon dioxide gas. When that carbon dioxide comes out, it makes the water condense into a fog. Now this fog is white. What color fog do you think I might get from these other colors here, these colored waters? Put added some food color. Do you think I'll get a different color fog? No. Yes, no, maybe. Let's see. <laughs> Looks to me like it's still white. Okay, because when you evaporate the water, it leaves the color behind. So this is water that has evaporated from the surface and has now been cooled off and has turned into a fog. And boy, doesn't it look like a fun special effect. Um, in addition to that, we have a little bit of fun here with some bubble solution. This is just good old bubbles. So I'm going to put some dry ice in with the bubbles and see if we can get that going here. There we go. <laughs> Sure well you can see that. There we go. Wow. So these are full of water vapor. <laughs> so this is just regular old bubbles with some dry ice thrown in. And it fills it with the water vapor that has condensed into this fog. That sure is a lot of fun. So let's we'll just let that bubble for a while. Now we can have a little bit more fun with bubbles. Let's see if I can get this to work. I have here a container that I have put some dry ice in the bottom of and just let it rest for a little while. What happens is the dry ice sublimes. Sublimation is a process in which a solid, without melting to become a liquid, becomes a gas. Okay, and over here, I don't know if you can, you're not going to see it on the video. This is dry ice, no puddle. Okay, and here's water ice, big puddle. Water melts, turns into a liquid. The dry ice doesn't melt. All right, so we have we have some some carbon dioxide gas in here. For one thing, it's cold. For another, carbon dioxide is a little bit heavier than air in terms of its density. I should say it's a little bit more dense. Uh, carbon dioxide has a molar mass of 44 grams per mole. The average molar mass of air is around 30. Okay, so it's just that much heavier on average than the air. And if I make some bubbles here, you might be able to see just how heavy it is by showing you that I can actually capture, can you see that? Let me try to do it again. Okay, there's a bubble, captured it there. Okay, it's resting on top of carbon dioxide. The air is buoyant in carbon dioxide, it rests on top of it. So this is full of air, okay, and so it won't sink in the carbon dioxide. Now, over time, it will absorb carbon dioxide from, from outside and pull it inside, and eventually it pops. But if it doesn't pop, it'll actually start to sink because it fills itself with carbon dioxide. Now, in addition to that, I filled up this beaker with some dry ice and put a little bit, and then I'm going to light these candles. I'm going to show you something else you can do with cold carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is denser than air, like we said, with the bubbles floating on top of it. In addition to that, you can actually, not that candle apparently, you can actually pour the carbon dioxide. So let's just see if I can get that to work. Did you guys notice what happened there? I poured the CO2 right out of that beaker. There's two reasons why that works. First of all, the carbon dioxide is cold and cold air is denser than regular air. In addition to that, carbon dioxide is much denser than the air, so I can pour it, and carbon dioxide will put out a fire. Just like that. 
Now what I'm also going to do here is I'm going to put a little bit of water in the bottom of some containers. These are just little Fuji film containers. And here we have a yogurt container. We're going to see how well the yogurt container works. And dry ice is very cold. Never touch it. Really? Okay. <laughs> and never put dry ice in an enclosed container because what? you never know. No! What's going on. <laughs> ah. Ah. Awesome! Yeah, I need those lids back. I can do it again if you give me the lids. Yeah, again? Again? <laughs> that was awesome. Oh, there's some thing. Well, it's a lot bigger, isn't it? Yeah. And because it's a lot bigger, it takes longer for it to fill up with enough carbon dioxide. It's a small piece of paper, really That's bigger. Hmm? It won't hurt you as long as you don't hold it for a long period of time. Yeah, I know. So look out, here it goes. It went really high. Awesome. It went really high. That was sweet. Oh